Hey everyone, this is Manly Bass here, and welcome to Look in the Window. A short horror visual novel about, well, the choice to look in the window. She stood behind me in the mirror-like window on the second floor landing. I cocked my head to the side. Who was behind me? I didn't recognize her. She was elegant. Elderly. Her long gray hair was up in a neat bunt. Her skin was silvery, unnaturally pale. She was tall and long, thin and light. She wore a long beige dress with an apron. She stood there, staring at a spot above my head as if looking at a reflection, or at my terrible anime collection. Who was she? Looking back, people had told me she was here, that this is where she always was. No one saw all of her. Everyone saw something. A flash of a dress, a flick of a hand, something out of the corner of your eye, always in the second story window. She's always been there. No one knew who she was. No one knows how she got there. She just was. And she always would be. I wouldn't care. Normally. I don't believe in ghosts. Usually. I don't believe in ghosts. There must be someone behind me. No one. Was at the top of the stairs. I turn back. Confused. She's moved one step closer. Her eyes are on me now. Her face, emotionless, cold. I knew I should leave. This isn't a game I should play, but one manly badass hero is playing. But, I'm curious. She doesn't seem menacing. I'm not afraid. She feels calm and empty. I turn back to the stairs. No one. Back to the window. One step closer. We continue our game. Back and forth, closer and closer. Her expression never changing. My curiosity growing and growing. What will she do when she gets to me? Will she touch me? Will I touch her? Will she disappear? Will I? I don't know. And I shouldn't want to know. But I do. So we continue. It's almost like a bit of a romance. One step. Two step. Three step. Four step. Five step. She was right behind me. I could feel her cold breath on my neck. I could feel her chill radiate on my body. She whispered. I'm not sure if I should assume you're friendly or not. A part of me wanted to walk away. Part of me knew I shouldn't turn around, knowing something would happen. Part of me knew she wouldn't let me. What should I do? I should hit the save point right now. Whoopity doo. Let's face her, because I'm very brave and not too smart. I turn. Her body is cold. We stand nose to nose, her freezing body freezing me. Every breath a struggle. I see wrinkles around a tight-lipped mouth. Pale freckles on a pale face, still emotionless, still regal. Her eyes, the only part of her not beige. They are a piercing, freezing blue. She is menacing now, but I am not afraid. I imagine a house with a great door. She stands before it, and she slowly, slowly raises a hand to knock on my door, and I let her in. Look in the window. And we'll try the other option. Leave now. I run, and don't look back. I don't return to the house. Every so often, I feel her eyes on my back. 
I broke the rules. So now, she can too. She begs me to return. Constantly. Begs me to go back to the stairs. Begs me. Look in the window. No. So that's it for basically what is my reading of Look in the Window. A short little story that had a good build-up, I thought. The ending where you stay falters a little bit, because I'm a little confused what she does. I'm assuming you're kind of stuck and cursed or something. The one with the car, though, that was pretty good. I like that. Then the look in the window makes a little more sense. And then you have that implication that she's forever going to be following you, always being a step behind. So, for a person's first, like, game and, like, little, uh, short story, uh, I liked it. Could have used a bit, could have been a little bit, bit longer. And like I said, the, the finale could have had a little bit of a bare landing, but I enjoyed reading it. And I hope you enjoyed listening. Anyway, thank you for listening to me read and look in the window. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.